climb checklist, we got our power, we got our mixture, and fuel's on both. Okay, remember to start that up here in your mag yes, compass. Yes, you're it's right. It's 260, and then yep. it goes to the engine gauges, pressure, temperature, vacuum, amps. Good. Um, switches where you want them, yep. and then to the power and mixture, and down to the floor. On both, we are good. good. Hello aviators, my name is Jason Miller, a full-time career flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. You know, I know that during the course of flight training, it's easy to avoid going out for just simply the skill building, right? To have skill building days where you're not focused on the ACS, you're not focused on the test. Uh, sometimes that feels like a luxury, but I really believe that if you can invest time there, uh, it'll pay dividends later, all the way down, through whatever ever rating or certificate you ultimately end up getting. Um, and so anyway, this is Kristen. Um, she is a private pilot, but like a lot of private pilots kind of went through the program, focused on the ACS, and um, we've been kind of doing what, what I call filling holes in, in some of her training as we prep for the instrument rating. And we're just going through some of these exercises. I'm gonna share these with you guys because if you haven't seen these or done these before, uh, it's never too late. It's always good for your proficiency and for your skill. And the first thing is fly with the flight instruments covered. So uh, some folks are reluctant to do this, but remember you can always look at the airspeed in indications anytime you want to, uh, but you'd be surprised what a confidence builder it is to put even a simple barrier like a piece of paper up there. Oh no, what are you doing with paper? Well, you know, just making it harder to look at your I airspeed. Know. Oh man. <laughs> uh, That's alright. Alright, there's You don't number. need it, really. There you go. Power to idle. I think go. we're 110, so I'm going to go flaps 10. Good, and then set a downline. 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 More nose down, like more nose down. Or even. Wow. Well, like right about there. I feel like I'm just banking Check down. it and see what it says. Your speed. 80. Okay, so that wasn't enough. Wow. Turn right. All right. All right. 90 degrees. Looking out your window, keep your nose down. Go flaps 20. Flaps And, and keep the 20. nose where it is. Yeah. Remember, 1-8 okay. Fox Trot, runway 2 right, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 2 2 right, 5 2 Fox Trot. Oh, I lost my paper. <laughs> 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 Uh, and if you can combine this with power off approaches, uh, that is also tremendously good for your skill building. Not that you're always going to fly the approach that way, uh, but just that sometimes I hear from people, I've, gosh, I've never done that, right? I've always landed with power. Uh, so you should loosen up a little bit and try some of these exercises. All right, and so I'm a little high, but here's 2100 is yeah. the, the pattern power yep. setting. Okay, your airplane? Oh, my airplane. Yep. All right, so we're being the thousand. Is that where you would pull the power to idle, or in the numbers? Sure, that okay. doesn't matter. All right, so we're at idle. Uh, Downline. Oh, wait, wait for your wait for the ah, yeah, get okay. your flaps in there. Flaps first, then downline. Yeah, it's one one thousand, two one thousand, right, so three one thousand. All right, so now downline. Yeah, but remember to look at where the indicator is right there. Oh that's right, the, I forgot. There you go. That, yeah. I'm not going to turn yet. This is a good downline though, right? Yep, it looks like it's going to turn. And there's twenty. I feel like I'm dive bombing the ground. All right. Might be going a little fast. You can check your speed at any point if you want. 85. Well, not too bad. Wow, but now I'm high again. Information whiskey current. I'll tell you 289. flaps. Still at idle, so I'm going to wait to turn because I'm high. Okay. Oh, no, actually, now I'm pretty good. Yeah, see, learning how to judge it is part of the value yeah. of what you're doing. You still have speed in the wings, I can tell. Yeah, so you can I can pitch see it up too. a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. There you go, hold that picture right there. Yep. Number 1 8 Foxtrot, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 2-2 uh, two, two right, 5 2 one eight, Foxtrot. Okay, just keep your nose down, you'll float onto that runway. Yep. Just keep your nose down, keep your nose down. There you go, keep your nose down. Yep. All right, good, now you're in like the zone where you can round out. Good, and wait for it. Yep. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Nice. Using your feet to stay straight, beautiful. Oop. Feet to stay straight, there you go, beautiful, like that. That was okay, bad. that was way better. Not bad at all. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Also, lateral control. This is really how I know when my students are ready for solo, when they have kind of precision lateral control. Mm -hmm. Use your Lindbergh reference if you need it. The little crooked, you're drifting. So I little, felt yeah. it with a little you crooked. Feel that drifting. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> but I brought it back, just sideways. All right, well, we're going to do the lateral stuff next time around. Okay. okay? 
Uh, you can see here that when the crosswind gets you, you not only point into the wind, but you drift downwind a little bit. So it's counterintuitive to, to, to put in the, the right rudder that would point you away from where you ultimately want to go. So let's just imagine that you needed to line up with this runway. Okay. So even, this is what we're doing before, is like even in the flare, you can point in the direction you want to go, you can use rudder to drift, and then you can stop the airplane from drifting, like you can get that precision control yeah, that's crazy. anywhere you want it. I can still see over the nose, but at this point I've lost the nose, so I'm Lindbergh reference, yep. Lindbergh reference, Lindbergh reference, there you go. Um, so anyway, once I know my students can recover from something like this, I know they're ready to solo. I'll line up with the wrong side of the runway. All right, let's go to the right. So we're going to go to the right. Okay. And Good. Yeah, okay. There we go. Good. Keep your nose down. Yep. Nose down. Yep. Very good. Now go now ahead what? and turn go toward left. the center line. Yeah. Oh, my God. Turn left. Okay. Toward, yeah, now, yeah. little right rudder. Okay. You got to, like, still do an all... all directions. So that just wasn't happening ready. quite fast enough. Sorry. We were running out of energy there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you have to do it, you know, um, it has to get done before the airplane runs out of energy. And also note here, it's point the ailerons in the direction you want the plane to move and use just enough rudder to prevent the nose from coming along. All right, and the last thing is probably, you know, that I hear so much about your stall speed increases in a bank, your stall speed increases in a bank, so much so that students are often, or pilots in general, are often reluctant to bank the airplane anywhere close to the ground, and that leads to some sometimes absurd flying behavior and, and things that are you know, can be dangerous, like way excessive airspeed and stuff like that. So I do encourage people to go up to altitude, make sure you've cleared the area, make sure you're in a, in a safe area to do this, but bring the airplane right to the edge of the stall and, and try to bank while, I mean, try to stall while you're releasing the yoke. It's, it's pretty much impossible. So if you're not holding your altitude, let's remember, if you're not holding your altitude, you know, the increase of load forces on the, on the wing are generally negligible. And if you're not pulling on the airplane, if you're releasing the stick or the yoke, it's almost impossible to stall. So I got the flight controls. Let me just do some clearing turns. Just make sure nobody's to the left. Nobody's to the right. And then I'm just going to reduce the power here to get us sort of... Like as if we were landing? Close to a stall. All right, the purpose of what we're doing here is to just show you that even when you're right on the edge of a stall, you can bank the airplane steeply as long as you don't attempt to hold your altitude. If you attempt to hold your altitude, the stall speed will increase. Right. Because you'll be loading the wings. But what we'll do is we'll just slow the airplane down until we're at minimum controllable airspeed. And I won't trim for it because I want a little bit of nose down in the yoke, just a little bit like that. I don't want to trim for it too much because uh, I think you'll lose the feel. But anyway, we'll slow down until we hear the stall horn. Okay, so there's the stall horn, right? So we're basically right on the edge of a stall, right? Like if I pull back anymore, we're going to stall. So yep. put your hands on the yoke with me. Okay, so if it's true that our stall speed increases, I shouldn't be able to bank steeply, right? Right. But if I bank and I release... You're not even releasing that much. No. Just like a tiny little Just don't bit. pull. Right. There's no way you can stall the plane. Um, all right, so... Yeah, so you're not even really pull. I mean, you're not even really pushing. You're just kind of very releasing. gently releasing it. Yeah, yeah. Now some airplanes you might have to push, but not this one. Yeah. So, so why don't you hold it up till we hear the okay. stall horn again? Pitch up. Yeah, or just hold the pitch until you hear the horn. Okay. Oops. Once you hear the horn, then you're close to the stall. There it is. There it is. Good. Now, if you were to pull back, right from We'd your, stall. you'd probably stall the plane. Yeah. Right? So just go ahead and roll into a steep bank to the right. To the right. But just don't pull. Steep bank. More, more bank, more bank, more bank. More? More. Just to show you that it's not going to stall. Yeah, my airspeed went up. Yeah, you're flying immediately. As long as you're not pulling, as long as you're releasing the yoke. No. Oh. It's you're not funny. Gonna I'm like, stall. we're going to spin. No, that's a spiral. So bring your wings level again. There you go, like that. So whenever the... The speed builds up. Yeah, then, then you get into a spiral. Yeah, and then you just want to get your lift back into space. Okay. So you should practice that. You should see that. Get right up to the edge of the stall, roll the airplane into whatever bank you want, and as long as you're releasing the stick or releasing the yoke, you're not going to stall the airplane. Where people get into trouble is when they get a ground shy and they see the ground rushing up at them and they pull instinctively. So you want to, you want to experience these things so that you know what the full envelope looks like. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 
So I just think it's important to remember that, like when you're low to the ground, if you have to do a steep bank to arrive at the runway, just don't get ground shy, let your nose come down. And as long as you let it turn to the left? Yeah, go ahead. Roll into a left turn. How steeply, like that? Steep as you want, just let it go as you go. There you go. Release it, there you go. Now we're dive bombing the ground. Yep, yep. Now you want to roll out of that. Whee! All right. That's, That's pretty cool. Home. Yeah. So you can bring the power back in and can follow our roads back to Grass Valley. All right, aviators, that's all for this video. Uh, thanks for to Kristen for being a good sport there. Thanks to you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below if there's a video you'd like to see. Uh, and please join us on Patreon. I do office hours every Friday. There's tons of bonus content there and that, that helps us keep these videos as ad-free as possible. So I'm Jason Miller. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.